Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome. I am just another Pokey Dad, and if you know where I stole my intro from, you're my kind of geek, and I say geek lovingly. Welcome back. Uh, so Collinsville Regional, the St. Louis uh, Regional, is coming up. It is an expanded tournament. It will be the first regional that I am um, going to be able to make it to this season. Um, and so I've been playtesting because Sword and Shield will be legal. Uh, so I'm playtesting whatever I can, but obviously Zation V, um, because, uh, just killer, especially under the new turn one supporter rule. Going first with Zation V is actually okay, uh, because of Intrepid Sword. The ability is once during, um, your turn, look at the top three cards of your deck, Attach any metal energy to uh, Zation and put the other cards right in your hand. I mean, there's no downside to that. So um, just a really good 220 HP for a two prize Pokemon. Three metal energy does 230. Can't use that attack next turn. I mean, it's still just a really solid card. Uh the list I'm playing is a little weird. I'm trying this out. Um, there are a lot of good Japanese ADP Zation lists um, that I've I've played, and they're all really solid. I've made a mess of something here, um, and I'll run you through it. So I'm running um, I'm running Sil Valley. So a Type Null, and I'm running the Sil Valley with uh, Disc Reload because I I want to have some draw. Uh, other than Zation's ability uh, later, because that one ends your turn. So I'm doing um, this, uh, but also because Brave Buddies is a decent attack for two energy, uh, does 120 if you've um, used a supporter in almost every turn in this uh, deck, you, you're you using a supporter for some reason. Um, Silver Knight is a good, uh, if you're up against uh, an Ultra Beast jet, just take a knockout. It's a quick way to end uh, some games, um, honestly. So uh, sometimes you save if you know you're playing Guzzlord Naganadal or something like, you know, you save that attack and you um, it, it's a threat at the very least because it's just instant knockout. So um, so that's, a, I like this Sil Valley. We're running three copies of ADP, Arceus, uh, Dialga, Palkia. Ultimate Ray is a good attack. 150 loads three energy. It's a fast way to get energy reloaded into this deck. You do use that as much as you can. Altered Creation for one metal plus uh, one water gives you plus 30 and you take an extra prize. Typically, that's your GX move and you're trying to get it off on turn one. On your first attack. You know what I mean. Um, I'm playing one copy of the Clefairy with Metronome. You can load it using ADP, three, and it um, hits dragons for weakness, good against Giratina and Garchomp, good against uh, Guzzlord and Naginato, good against ADP. Um, Metronome, uh, you get to choose one of your opponent's attacks and use it as that attack. <laughs> the people you need to knock out with that, you knock out. Also have found... Um, it's good against, uh, uh, Charizard GX, because, um, if you've ADP'd GX, suddenly you use their, their attack, you're doing 260, throw in a choice band, 290, and knock out Charizard with a one prize Pokemon. Um, it's a surprise attack, it's nice, it's fun, it happens. Uh, three copies of, of Zation V. Um, running one copy of Espeon and Deoxys for the Cross Division GX, um, basically against Dahlstall. That's that's your and uh, and Mewtwo and Mew GX. Um, Mewtwo and Mew can also be your Silvalli. It can also be your ADP, um, and it can be uh, Espeon and Deoxys. Uh, but it, it's there for the um, the Dahlstall deck because otherwise. There's not a lot you're going to be able to do against the stall decks, and I know they're 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 pretty solid. 
Uh, I am running one copy of the Mimikyu with Shadow Box uh, Damage GX have no abilities. Uh, I'm iffy on that one. I, I kind of almost think I need a Mar Shadow in its place to get rid of um, uh, stadiums. But this is where we're at right now. One copy of Computer Search, getting into the trainers here. Two copies of Field Blower. Four copies of the Metal Saucer to attach um, Metal Energy from your discard to one of your bench. One Nest Ball. Two copies of Tag Call. Four Trainer's Mails. We're running uh, three copies of Ultra Ball. Four copies of VS Seeker. Uh, the stadium I decided to run was Parallel City because it really helps against Dal Stahl. Um, you throw it down, you get rid of most of their bench, and then you hit them with Espeon and Deoxys. And sometimes you can just wipe the whole bench. Also helps um, against Malamar. It's good against a lot of things to, to limit their bench, even for one turn. Uh, one copy of Acerola. One, in, one copy of Cassius. I like Cassius because it shuffles back into your deck. Uh, Pokemon, all cards attached to it. Um, so sometimes, uh, instead of getting all that into your hand, or you need stuff back in your deck, that's the way to do it. I kind of like, he's a, a surprise inclusion card, and I, I've liked it. Um, I don't use it a lot, but when I do, it's always a surprise. I, I've used it when I'm stuck in and have something stuck. If they uh, try and lock me in the active, um, you send whatever they've locked back into your deck and just move something up and take a knockout. That's always a shock. Um, it could be an AZ, but then you're losing any energy or whatever. So this, uh, and it helps against deck out situations. Uh, one copy of Faba, one copy of Guzma. Two Guzmas and Hollas because of the special energy needs and also uh, a tool. Um, you're only running one stadium, so that's not really the goal of the Guzma and Holla. You're wanting the special energy and the tool in this deck. Um, one N, three copies of Sycamore, one Choice Band, one Float Stone, one Metal Frying Pan, one Stealthy Hood. Covers for all occasions you've got, you know. Um, we're running two copies of the Double Dragon Energy. That's to hit Arceus and Dialga and Palkia. Hit your GX move. Boom. Done. Uh, one copy of Prism Energy. You usually want to save that for your Mew if you have to use your Mew or your Espeon Deoxys, whichever one. Um, if, you're, if you're in a situation where you're going to need those, that's why that one's there. Otherwise, you attach it to whoever. It's whatever. Um, and uh, what do we got? Nine copies of Metal Energy. Running 12 energy, um, and it feels like enough in this deck. So that's the deck. Again, it's a, you know, really relying on, on Zacian um, to do the heavy lifting. You're trying to hit two knockouts on tag teams, done. Or GXs even, because that's six prizes with after ADP. So really, this is a deck where you're really trying to just take two knockouts, end the turn in... In, in, in the game in as few turns as possible. That's the goal. Um, the things that it could need, uh, could need switches. Uh, I tend to think that switch might be uh, a, a necessary inclusion. I don't know what I'd cut. Maybe the trainer's meals, but those help you dig. So I don't know really. Um, there's no, This is a tight, tight list, to be honest. And yeah, I've got a mess of... Uh, Pokemon, I could I could pare that down. I could just give up certain trains of thought. But so far, um, well, we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll see. Uh, the one thing that I don't like is the Mimikyu, and especially if he gets, you know, uh, is your starter. That's just not the starter you want. Um, so... Uh, it feels bad when you have to waste your float stone on the Mimikyu, get him out, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, so that's the deck. Um, we'll play it here and see how it goes. All right, stick around. All right, we're here for the first of our duels. 
we'll see with our Zacian or Zacian. I don't know um, <clears throat> exactly how to pronounce it, but uh, I say Zacian. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, if you know. Hotly debated topic, apparently. Uh, and what am I up against? Uh, Dialga. Nice thing is, I can knock it out. Uh, but hopefully we'll be ahead here. Um, suppose we better do this. Um, then we'll just intrepid sword. Too bad we missed the attachment there. We would be attacking for a knockout on the next turn. That would have been good. Um, but, oh, and we're getting, uh, so, maybe we need, all right. So, here's what we need to do. Let's throw away, I can... VS Seeker for one of those back. Let us get... Ooh. I'm going to get the ADP. Because I can get the Float Stone and the Energy. So... <clears throat> using Guzma. Alright. So we're going to get rid of... Uh, I guess those two. I want to keep the energy just in case. Float stone. Energy. We'll at least get our GX attack off. Oh, no. We want to uh, attach the energy there. All right. Let's see how we roll now. We'll either hit it with, uh, for a knockout, if they don't uh, get rid of my energy, but with their playing uh, Team Flare Grunt, it would lead me to believe that they're probably going to have other energy denial in the deck, um, like Plumeria, so yep, yeah, so... Uh, here's where we get in a little trouble, so. Unless I were to get lucky in top deck, I really need something. Not that. Um, so what I want to do, uh, I want to attach. I'm going to attach there. Um, all right, so we're back in business a little bit here. Um, even if you were to, to get rid of my energy, um, I think we might be okay here. Uh, I'm going to take that because I'm going to, um, I'm going to get the Sil Valley. And then I've got, so I've got a lot of draw here, which puts us back in business. Um, I can't Guzma. So, uh, I suppose what I want to do is this and be done because I just don't have any other switching options without him benching something um, but now that's game so not we had a terrible time they had a terrible time 
Uh, not really. I don't know why I didn't think about that with computer search last time. Because it's just game. I mean, not really the most exciting game there. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I didn't need to do that. I didn't mean to. I'm talking and I got distracted. That wasn't intentional. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so uh, that was um, not really much of a game. And uh, we floundered anyway, uh, with, weirdly. Um, but energy denial uh, can hurt this deck. So something we'll have to be a little bit of aware aware of. Uh, I mean, even though it has multiple energy recovery and everything, um, if you're slow getting going, I mean, he could have, if he had a bench, he might have been able to take uh, advantage of that. But um, just without a bench, there was no... He was going nowhere pretty quick, so he was having a rough game. That wasn't much of a actual um, show off what this deck can do match, but um, maybe this next one we'll see. We'll see. Mulligan on both ends, all right. Uh, and I'm gonna mulligan again. Not something that happens multiple times typically. All right, so he's got some Fabas there and Lysander. So we got to be a little careful in this match. Um, if I had to guess, it's an aggro plume of some kind, which is really going to be tough. So um, we'll just see how we go, right? We'll do what we can do. Uh, all right, so what do I want to do on turn one? Um think, attach, and then we're going to I'll get rid of those two, because I can be a seeker for it back if I need to, um, see what we got, all right, no Sil Valley, uh, no type null, so. So that's going to make it interesting. And then double draw. 50, all right, so and then uh, if you played a supporter, it does 80 more, so 130 with that one. More energy denial. Hmm. Um, we're going to go there. Get him back. Nope. Right there. That's game, right? Is it? No. 170, yep. Yeah. Don't even have to. Uh, boy, we're just not hitting the right kind of matchups here. If they they can't bench, um, we're just kind of steamrolling. And, I mean, we want to steamroll, but we also want to have something happen. Uh, I'd like to show a little more of this deck in action. Um, I've had some better matchups, that's for sure. Some uh, games where I actually had to play. So let's keep going. I mean, why not? We're, um, it's more than a dual duel, but we'll see. Uh, it could be a Malamar deck or... If it's Trevnor, that might be tough, um, although we have a lot of draw options if we get there, so um, we shall see what we're playing against and then make our decisions from there. 
But this is our the start we like. Obviously, you know, goose mahala in hand so we can get the uh, energy out. Um, and we'll uh, we'll see what we're running up against. Um, I do have the psychic mew, which can. We'll see what they're playing, um, if it's weak to Psychic or weak to, uh, I don't know what it would be weak to if not Psychic, um, but, so, let's see what we're up against. Alakazam, yeah, uh, it is weak to Psychic, so Mew will be good in this matchup, though, uh, also weak to Psychic in return, so we'll kind of just see where we go with it, um. We'll take the Kajas just so we have some options later. Um, and then we will get the Mew and um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to computer search for you know what? I'll go with the Baba. Uh, and pull out the Zation, um, just since I, I, I can't really draw, or I can't use the supporter, I can, if I hit an energy here, which I did not, but I got my double dragon, so what I was hoping was if I hit an energy, then if I could uh, get a way to draw into an energy, I, I kind of would just lock up the game at that point I mean not lock up but I mean uh, take the knockout here all right then what is the wob uh, each player's hand no abilities uh, except for psychic so um, that's okay and let's see what we can do. Cool. Because we can then uh, get another energy attached here by getting rid of that. And one of those. Let's get the type null out. Um, I know the wob will... Uh, maybe play a little Havoc with that, but we'll just see. Now we're going to take that for later. Um, and now we're just set up in a good spot, pretty good spot here, um, except for if they do any energy denial or I don't know what uh, Alakazam... I'm not familiar enough with it to know what it, uh, I mean, it's got a spirit link on it, so it must have a mega or some type of that mega Alakazam. And who knows what that does? Probably lays a smack down of some kind. Um, another Alakazam, the Hoopa, so we can get more EXs. Alakazam, Alakazam, Mega Alakazam. Some, it's a big deck of some kind. Does this deck that? Oh, for the damage. I see. I see how the deck works. Interesting. But honestly. I only have to take two knockouts, um, and somehow I don't think, yeah, I can, if I draw into energy, I can take out Melika, Mega Alakazam with, um, with Zacian. If I don't, then I have to decide whether I cash this away, um,
All right, so let's do this. We can go there, do that. Let's see what we draw into. If we get the energy, then we don't have to uh, redo. So then I'm just going to gash this away, that guy. Take out Alakazam there. And we get three prizes off that. Yes, he can take a knockout if he gets the energy attached, but that's where I think um, because how many does it take? Oh, just one. So never mind. He'll he's got the knockout there. So what can Mewtwo do? Oh, um, one less. I can brave buddies. I just need one energy on a Mewtwo. So let's see if we... Oh, yeah. I think I had that because even if he knocks out Zacian, uh, Zacian, um, the Mewtwo, he had the, the stadium out that allowed me to attack for one energy using uh, Disc Reload, <laughs> which would have done 240 because he's weak to Psychic. So let's keep rolling. Uh, this, I mean, it's a fun deck. It's... Obviously, I'm not playing against anything um, meta, so is it any good against that? I don't know. Probably not. Or maybe. I just don't know. Um, if I got any viewers out there that want to battle um, and, and test me with this deck, I would love that. Um, just uh, send me a message uh, here, uh, post it, and we'll, we'll find a time. Um, Oh, who do I want to go with? Um, I think I need to go with that because I can retreat, retreat it for one. So, um, okay. Blounds or baby blounds, I think, is what this probably is. So that's going to be a matchup. That'll be a matchup for sure. Uh, or Charizard, and I, I like Clefairy in the Charizard deck. I, I really do. Um, I don't want to start with Zacian. Um, Zacian. Uh, and I'm going to go with these bad boys. And be done. And let's see where, I mean, my hope is he's not weldering and yeah. So, all right. We're in a, an okay spot here. Uh, because I can. Get that. Get that. And take those three. You have a good deck. Thanks. Um, put that there. Put that there. I will retreat to you. Put another one down. And I'm going to ultimate ray. I'm not going to alter creation right now. I would rather get the uh, energy on the Clefairy because the Clefairy can uh, then use, uh, I could use a GX if I needed to. I could, you know, we'll just see. But I think I'm just going to take this one down. Um, because even if he... <laughs> And he's got the Torkoal V. Interesting. 
So can I knock the Torkel V out with, uh, you know, um, Oh, so he's not going to give up. All right. So what do we want to do here? Um, I think we just want a Guzma, right? Uh, I'm going to get rid of those two. And I'm going to grab the Guzma. And then we'll field blower that. And we'll metronome and use uh, player strike. I mean, that's the beauty. I mean, using that little metronome, a one prize attacker and uh, You know, if I'm not getting knocked out this turn, then, and even if I do, he's taking one prize. Um, I can probably start getting a <clears throat> Zoshin set up. Um, so, I think we're in an all right spot. So, uh, So I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to be able to to knock him out with metronome. Um, so let's get rid of the stadium again. Let's uh, Guzma. I mean, got a win streak of six going on. That's not bad. Let's see if we can keep it up. We'll see how long we can go. Maybe I'll just film the whole win streak, which could come to an end right now and we'll be done. Or it could be an hour from now. I don't know. Don't judge me. No, that's pretty much all the internet is, is judging people. I hope not. I hope you're here because you like watching what I'm doing. I hope I'm doing something worth watching and worthwhile. Um, I hope you enjoy your time with me as much as I enjoy my time um, that I put into this. Uh, and so we've got a Murkrow deck. Um, don't know what that means, to be perfectly honest. So let's get... Uh, but if I remember, Honchcrow, Honchcrow is trouble for ADP um, in terms of uh, energy. So we want to get the energy and hopefully the float stone right now. Um, we'll throw the fob away for now. And uh, float. And this, here we go. I'm going to hold off on putting the stadium down. I typically always throw it down, but um, let's get one energy on to Zashin. Let's see what else we got. Do I have more energy? But I could. So that's what I will take. And well, altered creation. Because here's the, if if they get rid of my energy, then my trouble is getting out of the active. I have, I mean, I have to cash this or Guzma um, are my options. So let's see where we end up here. Not terrible. Not terrible. Um, not great, 
But let's see what we can do. Silent Lab only is basics, right? Uh, basics in play, so I can get oh, um, get that. And what's uh, but I can't play Tool, Special Energy, or Stadiums. Okay. All right. Oh, and then Zashin's ability is gone. I keep forgetting that he, a V still is a basic. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're in a little bit of a pickle here. And uh, But, all right. But, so Valley at least has his um, disc reload so I can draw. Hopefully we'll all right. And hopefully we get Um, ideally, we'd get a Cassius right here, uh, which would be great, but no. Um, and get rid of the Silent Lab if I want to right now, or I could wait. Oh, it hammers. Uh, so I definitely want to. Um, Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this and start loading up another one. There's a Guzma. So hopefully we're in business here. Hopefully we're in business. Except we're not, because judge, 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 judge. Oi. And he's never going to miss, apparently. But <laughs> there we go. See, that was an interesting one. That was interesting because we rely on special energy early. Energy in denial is tough. Uh, but you can see that as long as we can get out of the active, and that's where I've thought. I, I kind of have been wanting to run a couple switches, but because um, you're, you know, you got one floatstone, one Guzma, and the, and the Cassius are the only ways uh, really to get rid of your active, um, get out of your act, and and I don't think that's strong enough. That's so I'd love to hear any ideas of what could come out, what would go in, la la la, and. Uh, not, let's see, oh, no, type null, all right, so we're in trouble, um, oh, what do I want to do, I guess I'm going to take you, and I'm going to go here, and be done. Baby Blounds uh, is one of my favorite decks. 
Um, and especially now in the new format with Lucky Egg, uh, I definitely think it's a really, really strong deck. Um, so let's see what my opponent's playing, what they got, and what, if anything, we can do about it. But in Expanded, um, you even have, uh, you know, you could have uh, <sighs> options. How did Clefairy not get knocked out there? Um, oops, I forgot. <laughs> Do I even need? I don't think I did. Well, we'll just put it on because otherwise it's going into the discard and never to come back again. So, um, we'll go you with you. Uh... All right. I don't really need the Mew in this matchup. I'm going to get rid of those. Just grab a Zosh and put it in my hand. I'm not going to play it. And we'll Intrepid Sword. All right. So now we've got... The attack next turn um, with a knockout and some and to get uh, energy on, which will be good. Um, an N would be nice. I mean, not not now because he's going to go to five, but N in this matchup is always nice, just to try and limit their hand. Marnie would be even more ideal, and maybe. Maybe I have to consider playing Marnie instead of almost instead of N, uh, because I'm taking big knockouts typically. So maybe that's the better idea um, is to play Marnie in this deck. I'm going to try it. After this match, I'm going to make a, a change. Um, and maybe I'll put two Marnies and put two Marnies uh, and two Sycamores. Let's see how that goes. We'll try it. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, We'll see if that what that changes up, but I, I like that idea a little bit. So we'll see. Um, wishful baton. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I said it. That's what I meant earlier. Uh, and did I get rid of my field blower there? Yeah, because I tried to field blower the thing that I couldn't field blower, um, which was silly. Silly of me. Silly of me. So. Um, uh, I'm going to follow the, the uh, Wishful Baton. And then we'll set up. Um, I'll put one on the, the other. ADP just to have. I would like to Altered Creation. So if he misses an attack at some point, I may do that because otherwise I'm going to be behind in the prize trade. Um, but if there's a chance for me to... Um, if there's a chance, and that's not looking likely because uh, he probably has the knockout here. Um But if I'm able, I'll fob the Wishful Baton again. And maybe we'll be able to uh, make him miss a, an attack. If he knocks me out here, um, then I'm just kind of in trouble. But he missed the knockout. So what I've got to do... Uh, what I've got to do is get the Faba. So I can ultimate ray again, load up the last three there. So one, 
two, three. If we can make him miss one attack, well, if, we, if he misses one attack, I mean, he's got, unless he's got, because he's already got two of his five attackers, uh, four baby blounds, the, the um, Victini, and uh, big Blacephalon. So let's see where we're at right now. Um, going for greens. Which makes sense because you get fire crystal and uh, fiery flint off that uh, choice wise. Um, or beast ring and this ball. Hmm. Interesting. Unless he already had the fire crystal and fiery flint. Um, That's his last baby Blacephalon. He's going to take the knockout here because I, I know he's got three energy. He's got to have three energy. So, again, we need him to miss one. Um, I could hit my GX now, get rid of that stadium. That might be an out I don't know I don't know to be perfectly honest I don't know if that's the smart play or if I'm just setting up myself um, <sighs> I think I have to do it I think I have to go try and get rid of the stadium knock him out and just hope that he misses one attack here. Um, Twelve energy. So 240. So he's not there yet. Um, and he's got to be uh, pretty, I mean, pretty tight on energy, right? 12 in the discard, that's 14 total. So let's see if you can get rid of, because if he doesn't, I think... Right. Okay. Now let's see if we can do this. So we feel blower the wishful baton. That was quite a top deck. Um, and then we're going to we're going to cash us to get rid of the damaged guy, so we're not vulnerable. But I think, yeah, we had that because we we're going to knock him out. And then I don't think he was going to, well, I don't know. He could. He had 14 energy at his disposal, but he was going to certainly top deck an energy, almost guaranteed. Um, anyway, I think that's the video for today. That's all I got in me right now. Um, let me know what you think. I had a good time playing. I know uh, there were some good matchups, but um, I just, there, certainly there are better builds out there. Certainly. Um, but I think this one has some merit. It's missing a few things. I'd really like to know what anybody thinks. I'd, uh, I'd love to hear advice. Um, so thank you for watching. And remember to please be safe, be happy, 
and be kind. We'll see you next time.